good afternoon everybody and wishers if you guys are following our instagram then you would know that we have a very very special guest for tonight's show so without further ado our next guest of the night comes all the way from orange county california this filipino singer needs no introduction so please welcome on the show avon rosales welcome to wish usa hello 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 bj Lo. hello to all our wishers to all our viewers <laughs> thank you again avon for joining me right i know that you're in you're in the west coast right yes so right it's, now it's it's, get, it's getting late there but uh first things first i love your background oh I thank love the you flashing lights <laughs> It's, it's, it's almost Christmassy. Yeah, it's funny because uh, in Filipino like culture, we always prepare for Christmas uh, like five months early. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> right. We can't help it. We can't help it. Yeah, once the Burr months, you know, we start putting lights. You know, that's, I think that's part of our Filipino culture. Having a few connection problems with our guests. But while she's trying to reconnect, let me tell you guys, wishers, if you have not been to the Philippines yet, take a trip. Uh, when, I don't know, if you guys want to now or if you want to wait for COVID to uh, die down a bit, take a trip to the Philippines. It'll be the best like nature getaway you will have. <laughs> and even then, if you're, if you uh, like cities, we also have amazing cities. We got Manila, we have Makati, like uh, like our guest said, um, Quezon City, which is just beautiful. It's amazing there. So please, I don't know what that was. So please, if you guys haven't, put that on your bucket list for next places to travel. Uh, speaking of traveling, I have been wanting to actually get back to the Philippines, but much more so, you guys know me. I always talk about this on this show. I've always wanted to go to Europe. Uh, somewhere in Europe, I've always wanted to visit specifically France, <laughs> Paris, because <laughs> I, I actually took French in high school and I want to go back. Uh, but on that note, I think our guest is back. It, are we settled? Are we good? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So right. welcome mm -hmm. back to the show. Yeah, I just went on a quick tangent about the beauty of the Philippines and why everyone mm -hmm. should take a trip there, right? Right, yes, um, right. Have you been to the Philippines? Yes, I was actually born in the Philippines, bro. Yeah. Oh, very nice. <laughs> but I moved here when I was like four, so I like forgot oh, the language. Fine. But I can still understand somewhat Kunti Lang Po. Tagalog. All right, that's nice. Yeah. You shouldn't forget your Filipino culture. Mm -hmm. You know, it's always good to have two languages, right? Yeah, yeah. Except, like, my parents always talk to me in Tagalog and I always reply in English because I can't speak it. Oh, I have to learn. I have to learn. <laughs> <laughs> so, enough with uh, the traveling talks. I do want to get right down to your music. First things first, newly yes. released, Magi and Tai, and now, congratulations, Bo. It's a big milestone. Every time you release a new, a new, new song, huge milestone. So, talk a bit about these two. Okay, before anything else, I'd like to uh, talk about my music journey. Mm -hmm. It's like, um, if you would know DJ Lo, my, my journey as a musician didn't come as normal, or I'd say like anyone else. Uh, you know, they started off mm -hmm. perhaps when they were little and they worked way through it. Mine actually was unexpected. It was out of risk. It was out of curiosity, out, yeah. of, um, out of a close opportunity and then open the opportunities. Um, yeah, I just went on a quick tangent about the beauty of the Philippines and why everyone mm -hmm. should take a trip there, right? Right, yeah, so. right. Have you been to the Philippines? Yes, I was actually born in the Philippines, Bo. Yeah. Oh, very nice. <laughs> but I moved here when I was like four, so I like forgot oh, the language. Fine. But I can still understand somewhat Lang Po. Tagalog, all right, that's nice. Yeah. You shouldn't forget your Filipino culture. Mm -hmm. You know, it's always good to have two languages, right? Yeah, yeah. Except, like, my parents always talk to me in Tagalog, and I always reply in English because I can't speak it. Oh, I have to learn. I have to learn. <laughs> so, enough with uh, the traveling talks. I do want to get right down to your music. First things first, newly yes. released, Magi and Tai, and now, congratulations, Bo. It's a big milestone. Every time you release a new, a new, new song, 
huge milestone. So talk a bit about these two. Okay, before anything else, I'd like to uh, talk about my music journey. Mm -hmm. It's like, um, if you know DJ Lo, my, my journey as a musician didn't come as normal, or I'd say like anyone else, na, you know, they started off mm -hmm. perhaps when they were little and they worked way through it. Mine actually was unexpected. It was out of risk. It was out of curiosity, out yeah. of um, out of opposed opportunities and then open opportunities. Um, so, before we move on with anything else, I do want to discuss this because this has been bothering us for how long now? Two years? Almost two years? And that is COVID-19, right? So, it's right. been here ever since, at least here in the States, around like February of last year, March of last year, around that time. So, how do you mm -hmm. think, overall, how do you think this quarantine has impacted your life? We have the opportunity to love the people around us, divine be with them. Mm -hmm. So I think that's how much it impacted my life. And you could also see that on my song, um, Maghintay, as I crafted it in a music video. I'll show the music video earlier, um, giving a little twist of the word Maghintay and all that. So, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so this quarantine really does tie in to your next song. And uh, right. before we talk about that a bit more, Wishers, we do want to show you guys a quick snippet to get you guys excited for a performance. Here's a snippet of her music video for Maghi Hintai. sa sandaling saglit, sa pangarap, sa lahat ng imahinasyong tinira mo, ng kahit saglit lang sa buhay ko. Magtutuloy ang buhay ko. Di naman kita nakasama talaga maglakad. Pero, tanaw pa rin ang puso ko ang mga bakas mo palayo. Sana lagi mong tandaan na hindi mo man nakita naging totoo lahat ng nararamdaman ko. Kahit pa naginip ka lang, at hindi ka naging totoo. I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm out of words. That was, first things first, beautiful setting. You said that was in Makati? Somewhere in Makati? Um, it was somewhere near Makati. Somewhere it's in near, Pagig. somewhere near? Yeah. Okay, okay. It's, I think it's a new place. You probably wouldn't have it been there. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe not. Well, yes, we do love music, but usually it's one of those two conventional jobs so to like so go, go against the grain and pursue music huge kudos to you i do also want to discuss this before we get to your first performance of the night let's talk about let's talk about that song actually until now mm -hmm. um tell us really the backstory behind this one when you find that special someone it's like you wanted to give everything to that person and not until that very moment came or comes you know oh this is it yeah yeah so you got me really excited to hear this song now right? <laughs> even though you even though your boy low may not have gone through that just yet okay. uh -huh. <laughs> i am not really excited to hear this song so, okay wishers here is the one and only Avon Rosales singing her very own song until now, only here on Wish USA. Afraid our love would fade, I couldn't care. 
Swishers, swishers, please give a massive round of applause to Avon Rosales singing until now here on Wish USA. If you guys have a playlist specifically for those uh, Kilig or In Love playlists, go ahead, add the song because this song is a banger. <laughs> uh, thank you, DJ Lo. I hope that you like that. I did like it, even though, even though again, your boy can't really relate. Definitely got me those Kilig feels, you feel me? So. Yeah, yeah, eventually. <laughs> and hopefully they could add that on their wedding series. I think no, um, that that suits best on um yeah, on a wedding playlist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when when you finally yeah. found your the one. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh. <laughs> yeah. so how have you been connecting with your fans recently, especially uh, regarding the fact that not a lot of venues are open? It's a big change for me, big transition. Well, as we all know, um, during the pandemic, everything, especially the entertainment industry has been affected way, way too much. Yeah, yeah. Right? I didn't know my next career move. Like live streaming, uh, live streaming opens another venue for artists to practice, to get connected with their audience. Um, somewhere in, uh, I think December last year, I got invited into this platform called Sessions by a good friend of mine, Giyu Komya. He's a TikToker. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he started that. I think someone invited him. It's kind of like the Twitch, I think. If you've heard the Twitch mm -hmm. here in the Twitch. US. Yeah. So um, that Sessions. And then since then, since then I've, been, I've been doing Sessions. But it was, again, it was a huge... 
um, adjustments for me. First, I don't know anything about um, about technology, um, mm -hmm. uh, like putting it all together. Like yeah, it's it's tough. It's tough. Yeah, the technicals, basically the tech, right? But then I get to appreciate DJ Low when I started doing it. Uh, the very first, like first couple of times that I did sessions, doing the live stream, putting all together the equipment, same time singing, entertaining your viewers. <laughs> I was like, okay, I appreciate so much now um, what the tech people did for me back then when there's still live events. Yeah, you know what? Like going from singing in front of people to singing in front of a screen where people are watching you and you don't see them either, right? It's a, it's a, it's a, right. it's a big difference. It's a, it's a really big difference, especially like you said, if you're someone who really uh, isn't uh, tech whiz, we call it. So you have to learn all that stuff or you have to get right. someone who knows that stuff to set it up and then you have to, the biggest part, get used to performing not in front of people. It's like right. the biggest it, step. Yeah, and it's a whole different set up doing, now it's called live song streaming. So you're doing the tech at the same time doing your own spills, kind of like a DJ, and at the same time, you know, singing okay. your songs. And yep. I think we just really have to adapt because, you know, the new era is you know all of us are tuning into digital mm -hmm. and that's just the way it is it's it's good to uh, learn new things right yeah and going back to the point about this whole industry being so competitive like you said you have to adapt right it's always it's a ever-changing industry there's, there's new upcoming artists every single year so if you want to get through it and stay relevant right. you really have to adapt and even somewhat make sacrifices here and there as well. It's all about sacrifice too. So, as always, wishes give huge kudos to Avon Rosales Aww. for pushing through, <laughs> right? Yeah. And before we head over to your last song, your, your performance of the night for Maggie and I, I want to ask you one more question. Mm -hmm. Let's look into the future, five to ten years from now. God willing, where do you want to see yourself? Um, I would probably wanted to, um, of course, like any other artists, singers, um, uh, have my song be heard all over the world and um, be able to not just, um, along with my journey of music, I, little that I know that was already producing my songs, be able to work with different people. So I think eventually I also wanted to have my own company, a song oh, okay. recording company. All right. Um, yeah, that's I wanted to uh, venture out eventually someday, be able to um, perhaps uh, become a CEO. Other than, of course, you know, being an artist. You guys, I know you've been waiting for it. You guys just saw the music video. Now here is Avon Rosales performing Magi Intai here on Wish USA.
Final time of the evening. Wishers, ladies and gentlemen, please give a massive round of applause to Avon Rosales performing "Magdalena Day" here on Wish USA, her very own song. And the wishers, I don't know if it was just me. I was thinking about it a little bit backstage while she was singing. But sounds like that song could go as a theme song for some sort of Filipino film. Had those right. vibes, right? Yes, right, DJ Lo. Well, good thing that you recognized that. Because um, supposedly it's going to be a theme song for a uh, for a series, perhaps a YouTube series that we're supposed to shoot um, sometime last year. But then because of the pandemic, you know, a lot of restrictions, uh, we didn't get to um, shoot it. But hopefully, hopefully, once everything gets back to normal, um, we can uh, you know, start shooting. We can film uh, a a series for for that song. Yeah, and again, wishers. Actually, I'll just I'll let the guest do the explaining. So I think you've earned it, Avon. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give you the stage. Where can we find you on social media, on all your accounts, and do you have any shoutouts for us tonight? Oh yeah, a lot. But first, thank you again, um, DJ Lo. Thank you for keeping up with me. Earlier, I was telling you, oh, I just got my vaccine yesterday. I was not feeling very good, but you are so you are so nice helping me out with this interview. Thank you, thank you, DJ Lo. Thank you, Wish, for having me. Um, uh, that song "Maghintay" is already out on um, Spotify, uh, iTunes, all digital platforms. The music video is already out on Viva Records YouTube channel. So, guys, please, if you could check it out, it's actually a collaboration with my co-artist Lance Edward. Um, so we put it all together as a team. Um, but it was the first practice of me, I think, becoming a producer as a whole, not just a music producer, but also like a film producer, even in that small a piece of art. And with that song, I um, just wanted to leave my audience um, a little message about waiting. <laughs> If you check out my music video, um, there is a little twist. Um, we don't have a lifetime of waiting. I think at some point in time, you should have a discernment when to wait and uh, when not to wait anymore and have the courage to tell someone or even it's not necessarily have to be our uh, lovers, but let's say our parents or family members, tell them how much you love them because we don't have forever <laughs> the balance in between. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I wanted to say hello to my um, Sessions Live family. Sir Rojo Olmeda, hello, he's here watching me, always supporting me. Choco Tan, um, who else is your man travelers? So, hello, guys. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in. And before you guys want to say on that note of waiting, right? Of course, wishers, patience is a virtue, right? Right. But not so much where you are foolishly patient. 
like you said, we don't have a lifetime. You might think yes. you do, but you never know what happens tomorrow. So while you are here on Earth, wow. do what you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> right. I like that DJ will foolishly be in. Yeah. So before you go, one one last one final question for you. This goes out to everyone that wants to follow in your footsteps, also wants to become a musician, all those up and coming newcomers, artists. What is your one nugget of wisdom or piece of advice? Um, uh, me personally, I would say um, uh, go for your passion, but don't forget to finish your school. The part of what our parents want for us, the opportunity would open for you. Just, just, just grab it. <laughs> Just keep doing what you love. Wishers, when opportunity knocks, open the door. Come on, take the opportunity. So with that being said, that was Avon Rosales performing here on Wish USA. Again, please check out all of our socials and stick around. Stay tuned for her upcoming plans in the music industry. And like she said, you know, CEO of a business. You never know, you never know. <laughs> so again, thank you for joining us, Avon. Really appreciate you having on the show. Or really appreciate you being on the show. It's getting late, guys. And before we go, wishers, here is a quick wishful soup break. So stay tuned. Only here on Wish USA. Get you some 